Hey everyone, so this is the second video of three about the mental health conditions that I suffer with. And uh, last one was anxiety, um, this one is PTSD, um, or post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, it's something which I carry with me every day, not very easily to cope with, but you kind of learn mechanisms to do that. Um, so PTSD can come from various different ways, um, hence it's post-trauma, so it could be anything, it could be from a, a bad news or a relative, it could be a traumatic experience, um, it could be anything. Um, for me, it was the passing of my brother, um, Will, um, who died of cancer, um, and how I didn't support him as much as I should have when he, um, when he was diagnosed. Um, not only diagnosed, but also then when we had the diagnosis of terminally ill, um, I didn't support him whatsoever. Um, and that's kind of what stuck with me with the PTSD. The um, the fact that I didn't support him when he supported me through quite a lot um, is it's something I'm ashamed about. Um, it's you know I I used to and my parents used to say to me, "Come on, let's go see, let's go see Will. He's in hospital." And okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't because I've got coursework and this that the other. So they'd go to Nottingham, which is about forty minutes away from where where I live, and. Um, Instead, I just play video games, just take my mind off it. Um, I couldn't bear to see him like it, so I, I avoided seeing him um, to the point of I didn't even wish him happy birthday because I I knew my brother, I knew he was a strong fighter, and he would get through it. Um, so for some reason, I thought I, I won't say happy birthday to him, um, which obviously he'd be passed away uh, before his next one, so I kind of that's followed me. And, you know, it, it from that experience, um, it has changed me quite a lot. Um, obviously, I have my good days and my bad days. And it's one of those things like my whole family, I uh, get it. Um, but, you know, it, it's hard. It, it, for me, again, it was a passing of a loved one and how I didn't deal with it. Um, and I, I am ashamed of myself. Uh, I think that's why the whole PTSD comes in. Um, but, uh, yeah, all I can really do is progress my life and know that he's looking down on me. Um, to really help with the PTSD, I've, um, I didn't know at a time I had PTSD. I just thought it was depression. Um, I got diagnosed by the psychiatrist with PTSD. Um, and I've had to not grow up I've had to learn that you know people need help and it's another reason why I'm doing this whole um, mental health runner is because I don't I've, I've made the mistake you know I've made the mistake of isolating myself and not being supportive and it's in, in a way it's my therapy um, to help with the PTSD um, I did a lot of speaking counselling, um, like, um, oh, what's it called, CBT, uh, I keep thinking compulsory basic training, but that's wrong, uh, cognitive pathotherapy, therapy, that's it, um, where I'd have, I think it was about 15 sessions over 15 weeks, um, or 15 hours, of, uh, basically learning how to cope and how to rethink certain things, so like how my actions have affected me, um, and how I can turn the negative into a, into a positive in a way. And, and that, that's kind of like how, again, like why I've started this is that I've learned to turn the negatives into a positive and, and in a way to cope. Um, but obviously, with, like I said, with PTSD, it it really does hit me sometimes. I mean, I'm trying to well up talking about it. Um, it. You have your good days and your bad days, I suppose. Uh, it's like that with with anything but it, it, like I said it can go across a very broad aspect of um, events and um, situations that you've been in. Uh, another thing that didn't really help with the PTSD is the whole um, cyberbullying that I went through where um, you know Facebook profiles made of myself, um, having certain people who you thought were your best mates who turned out to be excuse my language, real shit. Um, and, yeah, that kind of... 
that still follows me. Um, I have real trust issues with people and it really does affect the, the BPD, the borderline personality, which is the next video, um, which I'll touch base on this again, where they all kind of come together in some kind of sick, twisted tri trilogy of shit. Um, but yeah, that's PTSD and how it controls me and how I suffer and how I control it with. Um, I hope it's helpful. Um, again, I'm, I'm doing these videos because I want to show people that these things happen and they're everyday occurring and, you know, it, it could be anyone who suffers and they won't show you. I mean, rest his soul, uh, Robin Williams, for example, um, he had um, depression um, and it is as a, a testimony that, you know, the strongest people who make people laugh could be the people who are suffering the most. And uh, yeah, I, I, I hopefully it brings it to the attention of uh, yourselves and how it affects me and how it can affect others. And um, yeah, that's it. This video, um, next video again is on BPD. So I will see you then.